Lucy here. I recently attended London NCM Expo and for the whole of the Saturday I was cosplaying Celestia Ludenberg from Bang and Romper. Um, and the question I was constantly getting asked all day was how I did my Celestia drills. So I thought I'd make a tutorial, a tutorial video to explain how I did it. Um, it's quite a long process so um, I hope I explain it well. Just to let you know, the um, wig in its, in its entirety cost me under 30 quid which is pretty sweet, but I did already have some of the, fa uh, the materials such as um, the chicken wire, hairband and masking tape. So yeah, um, it might cost a different amount for you. But um, yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> okay, first of all, I went hunting in my garage for some chicken wire. Not the circular chicken wire, the square ones, as the circular one isn't strong enough to hold the shape. I, um, using pliers, I cut it into strips, which was about four um, squares wide, and using an obvious joining method, um, I joined them together by bending the metal over each side, like you can see in the picture. Uh, so once I got these strips all joined together, which were approximately uh, about three and a half metres long, so quite long, um, then I rolled them round a pipe thick enough to get the basic shape going just to test the length and all that. Um, also, it's good to note that I also trimmed down the wire using the pliers again, uh, so it went smaller as it went down the um, spiral, uh, whereas at the bottom of the spiral it was one square bit wide, whereas at the top it was four. Uh, it makes it look more natural and it's worth doing. Okay, once that was complete, I covered the whole of them in masking tape, um, just regular thick masking tape. Um, this took quite a while and I left them over, uh, I left them for two nights actually and all the masking tape started peeling off as you can see in the picture so um, I had to go and redo that and to stop that from happening again I used PVA um, paste uh, or wallpaper paste would work just as well to um, hold it all down. This added a lot of weight to it but it also made them a lot more stable and was totally worth it. Uh, and then I spray painted them completely uh, black, matte, not shiny because it will show through on the hair. Okay, um, once you've done those bits you're ready to start the long and painful process of uh, attaching the hair. Uh, for this I bought two um, just regular really long eBay wigs which I will link in the description, uh, nothing fancy. Um, I took one of the wigs and I uh, did this to it. I basically cut off all the long hair, so I had about a metre left worth of hair, and cut the fringe into it and the bangs. Um, yeah, so the basic celestial wig. Um, and then I kept the wigs, uh, the leftover hair, which you need to keep safe, and as you can see, there's some wax left, but it looks a bit like that. And this is what you're going to be putting on the on the actual drills we've just made. There's no very easy way to describe how to lay on the hair onto the masking tape, but um, what I did was I would attach the top weft um, using PVA glue, then I would um, lay it where I wanted it on the um, masking tape. I would got to be hairspray it in place, so it was looking how I wanted it to be. Let that dry, lift it up, put PVA underneath, push it back down and let it dry uh, naturally or with a, um, a um, hair dryer. Um, that was the main process of how to do it. It's very long and time consuming. I recommend using um, bobby pins to hold the hair in place when it's drying, otherwise it can flake off. And once you've done that, uh, you might want to put PVA over the top of it if it's flaking. Uh, if not, just covering it in hairspray will be enough, but you should use a lot of hairspray. It is the uh, main thing you need to do at this bit. My second attempt on the second drill came out a lot better than the first one. Uh, something that's inevitably going to happen, I guess. Um, one will come out better than the other. So um, just be careful with consistency on this bit. So once you've covered all that, you may want to consider um, doing the insides. I went to do this, uh, but it was extraordinarily difficult um, 
and here's a picture Molly took of me uh, crying whilst doing this. Um, it's hard. Um, I did do the inside of the top parts and not the bottom, which I ended up regretting as it did show in pictures that uh, you could see the um, chicken wire frame. So if you have time, it's worth doing, but you will need extra hair as well, possibly. Okay, so the final part is attaching the drills to your hair. Um, I wanted a stable way to do this. I noticed um, lots of drills I've seen people done kind of slope like that. And I want like the straight parallel coming out of the head thing going on. So um, I thought the best way to do this would be to put a headband on and attach the drills to it. Um, this would make them more stable and because Celestia wears a bonnet over her head, it wouldn't matter as it wouldn't be seen. So um, I got a thick headband, you need it as thick as possible, so it's sturdy, and I drilled two holes into it where that nail is. I've taken the drill off for now just to show you, um, like that. And then uh, I uh, drilled the drills, <laughs> drilled the drills together to make this angle go on. See that? Like that. And then drill through that onto the headband. So it's just two drills which are bolted in place in there, as you can see. Um, because this is quite heavy, I have also, um, for, it's quite clever, got cable ties which are joint in place here and here, which just hold the drills together more so at the top of them, like that. This is my worst drill, this is the, this one here is the better drill here and you can see again how the angle is made and the um, bolts holding that in place. You could use staples, um, because I did two layers of masking tape, the staples wouldn't go through, so um, you could use staples for this, but I think uh, screws would work better as it's safer and you don't want it to break at the convention, that would be the worst thing ever, especially the amount of effort it takes to do this. So yeah, just like that and then you touch them all together, like so. I'll just pop this one on my head to show you. So you just slide it on like that. And it falls in front of your shoulder. So it's not Canon Celestia, which falls behind, but it shows up the drills better and it's safe. It's very, very safe. It's not going anywhere. If you follow all my instructions you should end up with something like this. Uh, these are a little bit wonky and funny at the moment because I have taken them recently to a convention and I haven't tidied them up. You will want to trim off loose hair, Don't, whatever you do do not pull it off as it will rip off all the hair you've done so just have a pair of scissors on hand with you and um, you can re-bend the curls just literally just twist them in place like so and they will sit better. Mm. It's not uncomfortable, but I have got piercings in the top of my ear on this right side and it bangs into it a little bit, so um, got to bear that in mind. Uh, yeah, but you can't see the headband until I lean forward and when you have the um, bonnet on, it doesn't matter. So it's actually a really, really good process on how to do it. Okay, um, so good luck. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, mes message me on Tumblr lavabug.tumblr.com. I'll leave the um, URL in the description. Um, I will be on top of that more so than YouTube. So if you have any questions, I recommend asking me on Tumblr, but you can message me on, <coughs> on here if you want. I will try and keep on top of it. Okay, uh, good luck um, for all Celestia cosplayers. I hope you can do it. Thanks. Bye.